They, there's key lime pie shake. You know what? Why don't we do that? Okay. Southern. Yeah. Key lime pie milkshake. Okay. So starting with desserts, what is the Paul family favorite dessert? What would be the dessert of choice in a Paul White House? Probably Texas sheet cake is our kids' favorite because um, that's our big Paul tradition um, dessert that we always have when we're at their lobby in Granddaddy Ron's in Texas. Now serves because I, I have like 70 cousins. Yes, that serves, you like, know what they're like. People. They're huge. What do you think the biggest misconception is about your husband? I think that he's fun. That he has a great sense of humor. Uh, it seems like. Since I've been out doing my book tour, I think sometimes the media likes to create sort of superlatives or use words, and so I'm, re you know, reading that I'm gregarious and that Rand is dour. Like I read that he was dour the other day, and I'm like, never thought, thought about that. You are not dour. You love to laugh. You're you're great fun. You're an engaging person. So, yeah, that kind of was like that's just completely off base. How did you guys meet? I always love hearing these love stories. Did he make the first move? You know, we met on a beautiful spring day in April and at an oyster roast, a backyard oyster roast. Up walks this really cute curly-headed guy and starts talking to me, and uh, I thought he was cute, and we talked a little bit. But to tell you the truth, uh, I thought Rand was about 18. I was 25. <laughs> he still looks very young. Yeah, and then he really so looked young. You. So I want to ask this question to, I feel like, to get to know both of you better, in the house, what would you say is the thing that you love most about him when he's home? Something that he does. And what is the thing that you wish he would never do again? Whether it's <laughs> leaving the seat up, leaving his socks out. Any dinner, Rand is the first one up clearing the plates. I mean, he'll, he'll load the dishwasher, he'll clean. He's, he's always been really good at that. He was raised in a big family, and that comes very natural to him. He also loves to cook. He makes our Thanksgiving turkey. I was going to say, which kind of turkey? Is it regular? Is it Oh, is it? he watched this cooking channel show one day, one year, about 10 years ago, and he got this recipe which involved chopping up herbs very finely, inserting them beneath the meat of the turkey and the skin. So it's very surgical. I mean, this is a very involved process. So when you slice into the breast, you have a thin layer of herbs beneath the crackly skin. It's like, it's, a, it's the best turkey you've ever had. I'm telling you, he did this about 10 years ago and after that he became the official Thanksgiving turkey chef at our family. So what would be the worst? The biggest annoyance? Like my kids, uh, he'll drop, you know, he, he leaves a trail of breadcrumbs. You know, when he walks in the door, you know, shoes, socks, you know, all the way to the bedroom kind of thing. Other than that, he's pretty neat and tidy, but he just, when he walks in, he likes to just sort of drop everything. <laughs> it's a typical guy for you. Yeah. Are you nervous about the next year? Sure. Yeah. What do you think scares you the most? The media? Us? You know, <laughs> probably. Absolutely. Um, there's. It's not that I'm afraid of not winning or doing well. I mean, I believe that Rand will do a good job at getting his message out, and then whatever happens, happens. I, I truly believe that. If not, I'm always happy to go back to the life we had before. So it's not that I'm desperate for that kind of approbation, <laughs> but I do worry about um, being misrepresented, um, you know, being mischaracterized. Um, I'm sure you could relate to that. Well, there's always another side to every story, and oftentimes, especially when you're running for president, only one gets told. And it's a narrative that people want to hear, and it's always the drama. And I think back to the announcement day when there was a lot of critics saying he's harder on women reporters, for example, right. and as his wife, what are you telling him after that when it feels like the world is coming at you? I mean, that's a perfect example for me. I mean, all you have to do is look at any interviews that Rand has, and if you want to make a criticism of him that he's not smooth or that he is abrupt or he gets frustrated, fine, that's legitimate if you want to make that, but don't say it's somehow this misogyny or something against women, which is absurd because you can look at interviews with men. I mean, I can give you several examples off the top of my tongue that are very similar. And then suddenly to ascribe this motive when the man I've been married to for 25 years had a longtime surgical partner who was a woman. I would say with Rand, he's a person who values what someone brings to the table in terms of their intellect, their character, their abilities, their skills. No one values that more than Rand. He doesn't judge people on the surface of them, their gender or anything else. So one of the things that Rand and I have always said to each other is, 
don't get too thrilled over the good things that people say about you. Don't take that to heart too much or the bad because you're going to hear both all the time. I want us to have this experience, try to make a difference, try to, to, to run a great campaign, and I think we will. But in the end, win or lose, to be really happy with how we experienced it, how we related to people, how we ran our campaign, and also, more importantly than anything, is that our family remains strong, that he and I remain strong, you know, through the whole thing. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.